U.S. Senator Tim Scott, a Republican from South Carolina, announced on November 12, 2023, that he was suspending his presidential campaign for the 2024 election. He made the announcement in an interview with Fox News, saying, I think the voters, who are the most remarkable people on the planet, have been really clear that they're telling me, not now Tim. Scott, who is the only African-American Republican in the Senate, had hoped to become the first black Republican president and the first black president from the South. He launched his presidential exploratory committee on April 12, 2023, and officially declared his candidacy on May 22, 2023. He presented himself as a deeply conservative candidate who could do a better job of healing U.S. political divisions than former President Donald Trump or Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who are the front-runners in the Republican field. However, Scott failed to gain traction among Republican voters, who largely remain loyal to Trump and his allies. He also faced criticism from some conservatives for his support of a bipartisan police reform bill, and his rejection of Trump's false claims of election fraud. A recent CBS News YouGov poll placed him on just 4% in fifth place behind Trump among Republican contenders. Scott's decision to drop out of the race came just two months before the presidential primary season kicks off in Iowa, where he had invested heavily in campaigning and organizing. He said he would return to the Senate and focus on his legislative agenda. He has not endorsed any of the remaining candidates and he ruled out running for vice president. Scott's exit from the race also reshuffled the dynamics of the Republican field, leaving Haley as the only candidate from South Carolina, a key early primary state. Some major donors who supported Scott said they would now switch their allegiance to Haley, who was widely seen as a better performer than Scott in the Republican TV debates. Haley, who served as the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations under Trump, has tried to balance her loyalty to the former president with her own independent profile. Scott's withdrawal also reduced the diversity of the Republican field, which now consists mostly of white men. Scott, who is the grandson of a cotton field worker and the son of a single mother, has often spoken of how his family rose, from cotton to Congress, in a lifetime. He is the only black man to ever serve in both chambers of Congress, and the first African-American senator to be elected from the South since the Reconstruction era. He has also been a vocal advocate for opportunity zones, school choice, and criminal justice reform.